And now, your first alert five weather. You bet I'm going to talk turkey. Tom and his buddy were at Kathy's house this afternoon in Canyon City, probably looking for the pool. That's my guess. It was the hottest day of the year. Mmm, roast turkey. Always a favorite at my house. Outside tonight, it's warm out there. Look at that, still 78 degrees. Here's what's going on. We've got that dry downslope flow ahead of the incoming cold front. That's real typical here along the I-25 corridor. Pueblo actually cooler than the springs, a little unusual. 73 right now, very light breeze out of the west at six miles per hour. Here's what everyone's talking about, that heat today. After looking at these numbers, it's hard to believe summer doesn't start for another 10 days. Colorado Springs, 93, Pueblo Canyon, La Junta all came in at 100 degrees this afternoon. What a contrast, June 10th back in 75. There was snow in the springs, 1.1 inches of snow. You never know what's going to happen with Colorado weather. That's why you've always got to watch First Alert 5. Now tomorrow this cold front comes through. It'll come through real early tomorrow morning. Winds maybe gusting up to 30 and 35 miles per hour with the frontal passage. Settling down during the daylight hours. Winds out of the east anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour. And there's your bonus right there. Temperatures tomorrow about 15 degrees cooler than what we had around here today. Here's why it's been so dry around here. We haven't had a drop of water here across southeastern Colorado during the entire month of June, all because of this area of high pressure pushing the main storm track well up to the north of us. That's where the thunderstorms have been across Montana and the Canadian border. And this is prime time fire season around here. A lot of our biggest fires have started during the month of June. Heyman started on June 8th. The Black Forest fire started on June 11th and Waldo started on June 23rd back in 2012. So fire danger going to remain very high around here until we get some appreciable moisture. We already told you about the afternoon highs. Wanted to show you how warm it was this morning. Pueblo and Colorado Springs starting at 60 degrees. An average low in the springs this time of the year is 52 degrees. Outside right now, really toasty across the viewing area. Again, it's the warm ahead of that cold front that's coming in after midnight tonight. Overnight lows under clear skies, pretty comfortable, dropping back into the 50s in most areas. Tomorrow, those breezes will take the edge off the heat wave and again, the cooler air mass moving in, kind of refreshing tomorrow compared to today. Those highs on average about 15 degrees cooler than what we had today. It's going to be a warm, dry weekend in Colorado Springs. Good weekend to maybe plant something, a tree, some flowers, or just plant yourself on the patio with a nice cold beverage. How's that sound? That's the ticket right there. Steady diet of 90s next week, Sunday all the way through Thursday, and sadly, not even a hint of rain or thunderstorms in that seven day forecast. Pueblo last month was the third wettest May ever. Now Mother Nature has flipped the script. Not a drop of rain during the next uh, seven days, so that'll make it about 17 days without any water in June. That is very unusual. Those fuels are drying out quickly. Fire danger increasing all across the area. Canyon City, that cold front will drop you back to a pleasant 83 tomorrow, then more sizzle in your spring. Hotter temperatures with a very dry pocket of air from the weekend all the way through the middle part of next week. Woodland Park, the picture I'm trying to paint for you is sunny, warm and dry. Rain and thunderstorms will be non-existent. Drought conditions could start creeping back later in the month if this dry pattern doesn't change. We will keep you posted. Rob.